In this video, we will be multiplying decimals times other decimals using a hundreds frame. So yesterday we multiplied decimals times whole numbers. Today it's decimals times decimals and it's gonna look a little bit different. So first things first, I'm gonna shrink my pen down a little bit and pick a color. All right, so first we have three tenths and let's multiply that times four tenths. So go ahead and fill that in. Three tenths times four tenths. Now I'm gonna pick a color. And this is gonna look similar, but also different to yesterday's. So first things first, we're going to pick our first number is 3 tenths, and we're gonna color in 3 tenths. Just gonna draw my straight lines all the way down. One, two, three tenths. Now we're gonna pick a different color, and we're gonna color in the 4 tenths, the opposite direction. So we're gonna come from the side, and we're gonna say one, two, three, four tenths. Now it looks a little weird. We're kind of creating this weird little grid pattern in the side. But the reason we're doing this is when we multiply three tenths times four tenths, our answer is going to be the boxes that are colored with both colors. So all we have to do is count those boxes. And remember, since this is a hundreds frame, each of these tiny little boxes is worth one hundredth. So let's count them. We've got one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We've got twelve hundredths. So all we have to do is write twelve hundredths. That one's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. It looks a little weird, and if you don't color really neatly, it can get really complicated. Sometimes I like to use highlighters to do it because your highlighters will blend a little bit different, but it's up to you and what you have to work with. Let's go ahead and look at our next one. For our next one, let's do 8 tenths times 2 tenths. 8 tenths times 2 tenths. I'm going to pick my two colors. I'm going to start with my 8 tenths. I like to underline it with the color I'm using to kind of just remind myself what I'm doing. And I'm going to say 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, eight tenths. I know some of y'all really like to just scribble color eight tenths in, but that's going to be really hard to see which ones are colored twice. So try to just draw fairly neat lines. Now we're going to do our two tenths. We've got one tenth across and two tenths across, and that's it. Now you really, you could have done the eight tenths left to right and the two tenths up and down. It really doesn't matter as long as you do one of them up and down and one of them side to side. So let's find our answer. Remember, we're going to do that by just counting the number of boxes that are colored with both colors. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's a four. Fifteen, sixteen. And each of those boxes is worth one hundredth. So I know my answer is going to be sixteen hundredths. Looks good, looks good. I'm gonna challenge you to the next one by yourself. Actually, let's jump down to the last two and we'll come back to that middle one. Jump down to these last two for me, please. Let's do seven tenths times, let's do it times six tenths. Seven tenths times six tenths. Go ahead and color this in, your seven tenths up and down and your six tenths side to side on the rows and decide what you think the answer is going to be. For this one, you should have colored your seven tenths straight up and down. I'm gonna underline it with pink to remind myself. Two, three, four, five, six, seven tenths. Now I'm gonna color my six tenths side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six tenths side to side. Now I'm going to, I um, draw a box around the ones sometimes. You don't have to do that. That's just to remind me which ones I'm counting. And now let's count the insides. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. By one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I know that there's seven across and six down. Seven times six is 42 hundredths. So my answer is gonna be 42 hundredths. 
Looking good, looking good. I know some of you are like, but Ms. Wilson, you could just do it this way. We have to do it this way to show how you're counting your different boxes and understanding that it's tenths times tenths equals hundredths. Do it this way. Next week, we're going to do the traditional algorithm, so you'll be able to do it a different way then. All right, for this next one, let's do six tenths times four tenths. Six tenths times four tenths. Go ahead and color in your six tenths and your four tenths and find your answer. Uh-oh, wrong button. There we go. So my six tenths, I'm going to color in in pink. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to color my four tenths in in blue. Oh, in blue. One, two, three, four. And this time I'm not going to outline it. I'm just going to count them. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. We can see that we got twenty-four hundredths. Looking good, looking good. Let's go back up to that middle one, that challenge problem. This one's a little bit harder, but I'm excited to see what you can do with it. So this one, let's do one and, make sure that says and, there's a decimal there, six tenths times, let's do five tenths. One and six tenths times five tenths. Go ahead and solve it and see what you get. For this one, it looks different, but it's exactly the same. We've got our one and six tenths. We're just going to color in one and six tenths. So just go all the way across. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one. Now we got six tenths. One, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. Six tenths looks good. Now we just go pick up a different color and we're going to color in our five tenths. And we're going to color straight across both of them. So one all the way across, two all the way across. As you can see this time, it really matters which direction you go. Three tenths all the way across, four tenths all the way across, and five tenths all the way across. So this one, we're still going to count exactly the same. There's just going to be more to count. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 50 on that side. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 80 hundredths. We know that could be 8 tenths or 80 hundredths. I hope you got the same answers I did on all of these. Make sure you're checking over your work so everything looks beautiful. And get ready to get, ready to get started on that classwork.